Christina, you're one of the organizers of this conference, uh, particularly the women in innovation aspect of it. Can you tell us why you feel like that we need to do that? Well, Stan, there's a secret that I would like to tell you. I really actually don't even care about technology or innovation or even women's issues. What I do care about is that we leave this world a better place, we got it. And that's why we have to transform the ways we live and work. And that only happens if we take care of the women's issues, diversity, inclusion in our workplaces, and, and that we innovate. And those who participate in innovation come from all kinds of different parts of the society so that the innovations and the technologies actually serve us and we don't serve the technology. Mm -hmm. What does innovation mean? I've heard, I've heard this word a lot and I'm not sure I know what it means. It is great new valuable ideas put into practical use. They have to be shared and then scaled and eventually sustained. And when you do all those different steps, it leads to implementing good ideas in ways that transform the ways we live and work. Something then that is a new idea and can be sustained is women becoming more involved in leadership. Yes. That is something that you do every day. That's right. So how, how is it going to happen though? How are more women going to be involved in leadership when they, they are the majority of consumers? It would seem to be a natural to me. You know, that's going to happen because it's go there's going to be a tsunami of uh, gender change in the workplace. There's no, no ways about it. See, if you look at the educational pipeline and the companies that are um, looking at their succession plans, it's going to look a lot like women. When current CEOs, who are mostly men, are thinking about the company's future, the best qualified, the best educated people that are coming up in the ranks, they are women. So it's going to happen. The question is, how do we manage that transition? And how do we manage it in a way that is, it's a partnership model, not one gender taking over but the way uh, the world has been led and governed up till now, uh, or completely going in another direction, but finding a way how we can come together and, and govern together in, in different uh, places of leadership. But if it's a power base, and yes. it is, yes. people in power don't give it up easily. Yes. And some men in business, particularly some men in government as well, are going to think that we are giving up power to, to women. Is that really what it is? I know there is a small fraction of men who think that way. Uh, however, in the new generation of men, what I see is that uh, millennials want to affect through their work, uh, you know, two things at the same time. They want to do their best work, get compensated, and actually that's three, three things, and affect the world in the best possible ways for it to be a good, sustainable, and uh, livable planet altogether. So, when when you are when you talk to millennials, whether they are men or women, you come to these same kinds of conversations. That I want meaningful, purposeful work, and when you talk about meaningful, <laughs> purposeful work. It's not about power struggle between genders. It's about how can we work collaboratively towards better solutions for the planet. And that seems to be what the conference is all about. And that's what we're all about. And, you know, the whole conference was uh, created in a partnership model. There are different uh, organizations that have come together here. I'm representing Women in Innovation. That's why this is a very different conference from many other innovation conferences. When you when you go to innovation conferences, it's usually men in suits and a lot of talking heads. We've turned all everything on, on its head. This is probably half and half, men and women, and, and the participants are actually participants in producing the content all throughout the day. 
So they're, they're not talking heads to the audience. The audience is producing uh, answers to questions and challenges that the, the speakers pose in their five minute lightning talks. Mm -hmm. What are some specific examples of advances that women have made uh, from an innovative standpoint that can inspire little girls? I think the, the most inspiring uh, here today are the youth themselves. They show that there is not really limits if they put their minds to it. And if they have the support system of their home or the right teacher to help them solve problems that they are curious about. If we can uh, just encourage that innate curiosity of young people like the three women who are going to be on stage today talking about their interest in robotics and then going on to competing and realizing how big over the world there is and how much they can actually affect the world through their own interest and, all, and, and going for it and having these bigger dreams, um, they will go far because we as adults, we have respect for them when, when we hear them show the way and that gives me hope for the future. Uh, you yourself are a coach of leadership. Yes. Uh, what, do you, what do you do, how do you coach leadership regardless of gender? It goes back to respecting the human nature, the heart and mind together. So uh, whether, when, it's, when I'm coaching men and talking about leadership with men, we often tar start the conversation from uh, the external. Uh, what are the pressures I'm under to accomplish the goals that are set for my organization for, or for me as, a, as a, an executive? And, and then we get to the internal. What does it do for me? Where do I have my inner resources? How do I get to my next achievement with what I have and who do I need to collaborate with and do I have the skills to do that? With, with women, it often starts the other way around. What women brought, bring to a coach is that I'm having this internal struggle. I don't know how, how I can balance you know, my, my wanting to be a good mother and a wife and take care of my family at the same time where I'm ambitious and I have plans for my organization and my work and my, my company. So uh, it, it, we, we basically cover the same issues, but in different order most mm -hmm. of the time. Okay. We, we know that you're due up on stage any minute, so we've talked about women, innovation, collaboration, and leadership. Yes. If you're looking five years down the road, what does the world look like with those four things in mind? I think we see a rapid development of our collaboration skills because that's how the world is going to look like. There's no other way. The, the, the hero mentality is gone. Um, today, we don't have heroes on the, on the stage. We have people who shine light on different aspects of innovation leadership. But uh, we need everybody to come together and share. And that sharing brings about sustainability when we work together. And I, I believe, and that's why I'm doing this, is that I be believe that that's the only model forward. Christina Huka, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Stan.